You wish to cross-examine, Counselor? Hold on a moment. I want that commotion stopped. It's upsetting the dignity of this court. It's jackhammers, Your Honor. They're tearing up the sidewalk outside. Well, tell them to quit. Ah, uh, don't feel bad, Mr. B. You did your best. Everybody's got a right to strike out once in a while. Boy, them things nearly shake the bones out of your skin. I nearly got killed by one of those jackhammers the other day. I was back in the cold storage picking out a nice roast for Mr. Sutherland. And they came and, and started to tear up more payment out in front of the store. Boy, I'm darned if I didn't almost get beaned by a side of beef. <laughs> hey, so wait a minute. You mean in the meat market? Sure, where else would I find a side of beef? <laughs> Your Honor, may I ask that this court be recessed briefly and that it be reconvened at the scene of the alleged violation? For what purpose, Counselor? The defense is in possession of new evidence, Your Honor, which can only properly be presented on that site. Granted. Oh, gee, this is more exciting than them trials on TV. <laughs> This court is in recess. It will reconvene at the corner of Euclid and Main in 15 minutes. Well, I'm here, Baxter. Well, well what's going on? Uh, how soon can you get me on the stand? We're recessing and reconvening at the parking meter site. Well, how soon will you be through with me? I, I can't sit around here all day waiting to testify on a $2 parking case that you're sure to lose. I'm sorry, Mr. Sutherland, but if I can prove what I think happened, we may not need your testimony after all. Well, just remember, Baxter, you're not going to look very good with my people for losing a silly case like this. We'll see. Never bet on a ball game until it's over. Why don't you stick around and see what trick Mr. B's up to? I'll bet it's a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> With the court's permission, we will reconstruct the defendant's actions. As you can see, Officer Dietrich has adjusted the meter to co-sign with the testimony. 20 minutes parking time still allowed. Now then, Hazel, will you please show us exactly what happened? Oh, sure. Come on, we'll show him. Harold and me got out of the car. We were eating ice cream cones. Yeah. And then I took four pennies out of my change purse. Oh, I don't have any change. I don't have any. Pay you. <laughs> Only three? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Judge. And I gave them to Harold. And he put him in the meter. One, two, three, four. That's exactly the way it looked at 11.15. And then what happened? Then we went into the store. And a few minutes later, along came this jackhammer operator. Here. Your Honor, I would like to call the court's attention to this parking meter. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. <laughs> Is there anything you wish to say? Uh, not in public, Your Honor, no. <laughs> the court finds the defendant not guilty. Hey! Thank you, Your Honor. And believe me, the next time you come up for re-election, you can count on my vote. Thank you, <laughs> Court adjourned. Well, I'm going to go home and fix us a special lunch for celebrating. Come on, Mr. Sutherland, why don't you come along? Well, I... We'd love to have you. Well, in that case, fine. <laughs> we sure got ourselves some swell legal legal, ain't we? I should say we have. That was a good example of deductive reasoning. Oh, you're a darn tootin'. Mr. B's almost the greatest deductive since Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> The gal is everybody's pal, it's Hazel. She's the 